So today I am going to show how to make headings and subheadings in a Word document. So first I have a few um, paragraphs and the titles um, headings that are not um, numbered yet. So I'm going to click on the introduction and then go under here style or you can click on style pen as well. So either you can click on any of these and then you can modify or you click any of these. They are basically same. So I would choose heading number one which has um, change the color and the font and it's actually styled so I'm going to modify style because I don't like this color and the font for example so Arial 16 is fine I'd like it to be bolded and the black so I would like to click here automatically update which means it will automatically update every single other in terms of the style every other heading number one in terms of a style so I'm going to click in this format and numbering because I'd like it to be numbered and I'd like to be numbered one and half one and a, one and one point one one point one point one so you can customize here for more details so this is level one heading number one you can see the examples here on the right and here enter formatting for number so I'm going to leave it as it is because it's selected already as you can see it's as a gray and one, two, three, start from one and everything is fine. I'll click OK. You can see here one point introduction. OK, so it's change it to, sorry, change it to introduction. Number one, introduction. So I'd like to change the main body and conclusion and recommendations as well what you have to do is just uh, select or you can click on here and then select the heading number one that we just modified the style of you can probably um, select all of these and click good select click select click so you can see that it all has changed the heading and now I'd like to add subheading as well so for instance main body phase one main body phase 2 I'd like to add subheadings here for example so click on select all this and then click on heading 2 which is just right under heading number 1 click on this and it automatically change it so you can change the style as well go on this name you can just leave it as it is and click on Arial, size fine, bold, I'd like it, um, and automatic, which is black color. And click automatically update as well. So if you go in here, again numbering, you will see uh, the format of it. So you can just leave it as it is, but you can see here as well. If you see the level is level number two, 
which is the second level, and enter formatting the number for number. So one means the heading, and the second one after point. Uh, this is this means the second one. So it here in the subheadings. So heading number two starts from one as well, but it is linked to the headings. Heading number ones. Okay. Click. Okay. So what you have to do here as well is just clicking heading number two. Are you okay. So for instance here. Summary, another summary. And click heading number two, and it automatically changes the number in front to three according to the chapter, the heading number. Here as well, select heading two. So if you'd like a further summary of summary, for instance, and you'd like third heading, which is subheading of subheading, so you can click on heading number three, which is actually automatically created here. Click on this. And it's going to be under the subheading 3.2, which is created as 3.2.1. So you can again change the style, modify style, and aerial size fine, automatically black, and bold, automatically update again. So, is it? Thank you.